Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video, let's take a look at S&P 500, Nasdaq, Tesla. Most importantly, we'll be focusing on that. Then Microsoft, Apple, Meta, Netflix, Google, Amazon and Palantir. With that, please also hit the like and subscribe. And please remember, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. So we'll start off with Tesla. All right. Now, Tesla as it's still going sideways though guys all right overall but as I have been saying pretty much since the time we had this drop and I mentioned that I, back then I provided you this blue box down here $216 level area and I mentioned that this is the zone where we I expect things may stabilize and we may start to see some rebound but only intraday rebounds nothing more than that for now right Tesla is just going sideways in that area. It's holding really great. And yes, we are still fine here. Now, the thing is that the next big move though, I'm now on the hourly interval. The next big move though, guys, is still, still on the holding pattern. And that is, if we get above 223 and 54 cents, that's when I expect in an explosive move to the upside or continuation of the rebound technically but that will be a strengthful move 223 above if we you know it's tesla right when tesla loses it loses right when it goes down it really goes down right if any time now tesla loses 216 and 79 it's not just that actually even if it just loses this pivot which will start to happen right below 220 pretty much. If, and if Tesla starts to do this tomorrow, it's a downside start again, 220 below. And as long as we can stay above 220, we are just fine. I'm just checking a couple of things here. All right, all good. All right, so uh, this is technically the zone. Above this, we are just fine. Below this, we have a problem. The reason above 220, we are fine because we are still holding on intraday levels these higher pivots higher lows so technically we are still in an, that upward direction force all right and then definitely the more strengthful move is above 223 and 54 cents and if i take you to the daily interval as well you know and that will start to open up this rebound continuation to this uh downward trend line that we have so all in all this will just be an overall down sorry overall rebound move if this even continues to happen um but yeah that's tesla so technically right now you know it's yeah it's more just intraday plays but it's just going mostly sideways right so just just watch those levels and trade with those all right microsoft so microsoft is uh, had a you know gap down and but it got bought back up continues to keep the structure bullish here all right it continues to however my worry is that the strength is where the problem ha is right now and that is we are constantly more and more saying staying below 200 days moving average the thing is that once we did that pivot formation yes we are still holding that pivot area we're still getting bought back up but my worry is that i don't really like to see such a lower downtrend or lower gap down after we form a pivot and that's where i would say just be cautious yes even though we are holding a structure bullish here but on microsoft i'll be cautious because if any time we start to close the days below 413 at this point uh, it can open up the doors to the downside which will be a little bit more problematic downside all right because microsoft is already building up in a structure of slowness you know head and shoulder it's building up in the slowness and 200 days moving average is also a little bit now slanting slowing down and it's staying a lot more days now below 200 days moving average even after trying to go back up so just be a little bit careful you know um that that's a likelihood on that apple after testing all time highs yesterday today we are seeing a uh, cool off but it's technically in the structure just a cool off guys we are above 20 days moving average 50 days moving average apple is something long term i would say as long as we are above these moving averages just look for the upside apple also with the levels but it's just less volatile that 20 and 50 will just work great on apple but and this is the zone right now as we step up 227 technically we are just fine 
technically 227.98 cents is the level, right? So that's that. All right, Meta. Meta finally lost its legs today, and Meta is the one that is in the red. At least cool off is coming, and I do expect this thing to continue. May continue now much more lower into this pullback. This was a great, beautiful money-making move, right? Now, once we start to lose this structure that I also told you, this blue box below, this is a weakness. Swing play, this one is over. Take profits, be happy. Or take partial profits, whatever you want to do. That's your choice. But what I'm saying is the structure is getting cooled off and it's getting weaker right now, at least for coming days. And yes, I expect this thing may continue lower. You, you can track 50 days moving average or whatnot that until that area. But if you're just looking at the level, technically, this is the level 542 and 98 cents. And then we'll see if anywhere 50 days moving average or any of these levels would start to provide support. But for that, we'll have to see higher lows and those pivots form, higher highs, higher lows, pivots form. Right now, I'm just seeing we are, we are going down. A structure is to the downside. And even on hourly interval is much more apparent. If I take you on the hourly interval and I mean, we are below 200 hours moving average. And also we have this trend line now in this, this like some hair here, right? Now, the thing was that with Meta, this was the pretty much the area, right? Uh, 200 hours moving average in the blue box. Once we lost it and also structures I showed you turned red on the daily interval, this start of the cool off and a lot more things are signaling on Meta, we can cool off. But so yes, short plays can be looked at with the stop loss on the other side for the short, right? So that's that. Netflix, so let's go to the first daily interval here. Uh, and then go, let's go to Netflix. So let it load. Yeah, so Netflix guys, we already had a, let, let it a little bit stabilize here. And let me actually also pan this thing out. All right, so with Netflix, we were already in the red structure from pretty much last three days and you can see it's being reflected in the you know cool off and this is where structure lost its strength right and we have been going down if you need access to my tools links are in the description of this video and now yeah as i said below the blue box after that red candle just look for the downside place we are still technically negative 701 below oh, sorry where did it go here this area now, what I would want to say is that seems like it want to a little bit bounce up at 50 days moving average. So, you know, because we are still though above 50 days moving average, right? So let's go to the hourly interval because here you have to really follow through the pivots and the important level. So you can see we're still rejecting that trend line technically that I gave you, right? So nothing has really changed on this. Yeah, so it's still a downside play. If any upside rebound. It's possible that will be if we get out of that trend line and also get above like 703 and 97 and some intraday upside, it's possible then. So, but yeah, just follow these directions, the pivots right now, we're still forming lower highs, lower lows. Yeah, that's that. All right, uh, let's take a look at now, Google, Google. All right, let's go, Google, come on, load. All right, here we go, guys. So google is still fine it's still fine um we are holding still a bullish structure let's turn on the easy day and swing trading tool we're still holding bullish structure above 20 days moving average that's what it would be um yeah as long as we are above 20 days moving average i'm not worried on google or if for tomorrow you want to watch the level as long as we are above 163 and 94 cents i'm not worried on this thing amazon so Amazon is, look, technically, it's not a swing shot. The, the problem with these low volatile stocks like Amazon is that these are really tough to trade in, not tough to trade intraday, but these are, you have to trade really big positions on this on intraday and with very tight stop losses, but they contain so much of noises, right? So these are more better traded as swing plays. And on the swing side, there this is where we are technically though still holding these directional pivots. All right. We are still holding the directional pivots. But what I'm seeing is that a little bit of a struggle over here. Right. But we are still fine though. Let's see 
you know, yeah, we are still fine though. We are still holding a bullish structure. Pullbacks are getting bought back up. We are still having green structure here. Uh, let's go to the hourly interval on Amazon. Amazon is a little bit of a sideways choppy stock and that's why it is more like you have to every day trade like what the price action is giving you as well with most likely long term, when, when I say long term, I mean not just to, just to the upside, but more of a many days or weeks of horizon plays you have to build into a stock like Amazon. It's still rebounding at 200 hours moving average. It's it's fine though, all right? It's still fine. For tomorrow, intraday above a 187 and 41 cents upside is possible. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I, I would still look up for the upside play on this thing though. All right, let's take a look at Palantir now. And then with that, we'll take a look at SPY and QQ. Palantir, let it load. So guys, um, Palantir, as I was saying, I gave you those red lines. I said that yesterday below that will be having a cool off, which we got. My indicator also is showing that from last two days, Palantir is in the cool off mode. Now I have an active mode turned on. Like what's the difference? If you have access to my tools, you know that. Now, because you will get the training videos as well. So technically we are still in the directional uptrend. All right, but this is where profit should be taken and now we are cooling off. If you are looking for intraday downside play, these are the downside plays, but this is not a swing shot, just intraday, all right? So let's go to the hourly interval. Are we seeing signs of support? Because we are seeing that good buying happened down there after that call that fall, right? So yes, intraday, all these plays are working out as how I projected or expected as well, below that red line that I provided you two days ago and we are still in the downtrend right with the bounce we found was at one of the significant levels and i targeted this 200 hours moving average i told you guys once we lose this trend with this red line there's a likelihood we'll test the 200 hours moving average you got that now the thing is that though it's just a rebound for now we are still below that intraday trend line so your play is if tomorrow we continue to stay below this trend line up closer to this we are still technically in the downtrend if we can get above this trend line and also above this zone of 42 and 14 cents intraday, some upside is possible. This is what you are watching. Why I'm feeling that there is there an earnings coming off? Pal no, not yet. I don't know why I get a feeling that there's some earning around. Did I miss something? I, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss. Sorry, guys. Just let me. So that's Palantir, all right? I just want to really quickly see if there was any earnings today. Apple, no. Meta, no. ASML, I'll talk about it. Well, I already talked about it with when I did NVIDIA yesterday. So, all right, let's give it a while to load. No, yeah, there, there are no other earnings. Yeah, the Netflix, I think, is the one that's soon coming. Yeah, that's what that's the one I was. Uh, yeah, that's something was stuck in my head. I'm like, there is an earnings coming and I'm just not sure which did I miss something. All right, and Netflix earnings are tomorrow. So at this point, leave it all on the earnings. We'll see what the chart does after earnings, guys. So there's also a possibility we might see a collapse or we might see a structure change, chart change all the way to the upside. At this point with Netflix, I would say just let it tomorrow, let the earnings play out and that would be it, all right? Yeah, that's the one that was stuck in my head. I was like, there was something I remember. There was an earnings. Sorry, guys, that just skipped my mind while I was doing uh, Netflix. I'm just checking <laughs> soon enough that if I'm because there are some around these all tech stocks will be soon enough altogether soon. Okay, Amazon is also a while ago, while uh, after. All right, let's take a look at now S&P 500 and Nasdaq. All right, S&P 500. Is there any problem? No, there is no problem, guys. There is no problem. We are still in the bullish structure on the S&P 500. There is no downside structure. There are blue boxes sitting down there that I provided you. Those are still good support. 20 days moving average coming from underneath is still just a good support. Pullbacks at the significant levels are still getting bought back up. Let's take a look at hourly interval as well. Levels to watch for intraday tomorrow. So let me do this here. Yeah, so if tomorrow any pullback comes, but if we stay above 580, nothing to worry about. Look for the structural supports. And when the, my tool turns, for, if there is a red structure on my tools, but when they turn green, just look for the upside. We are still in the upward structure. This is a good bounce already happened. Market is so strong, it didn't even come down to 200 hours moving average. 
we have found the double bottom right at one of the significant levels one of the support significant levels significant levels of my tools are the most important levels all right all right let's go to now nasdaq so nasdaq a uh, little bit it's still closed green uh, but let's see the candle there so we are still holding support above 20 days moving average and Technically, it's still holding the bullish structure. Let me, yeah, it's still holding a bullish structure. You can see the body is green on the red day also because it's a structural, you know, structure is still bullish and we have above 20 days moving average also. So that's a good sign. Let's go to the hourly interval. As long as we have above 20 days moving average, you should look for the upside plays at those areas. Now, there's a blue box that I talked in the morning as well. And okay, so here's the thing. If we can stay above this blue box tomorrow, 489 to $490, uh, we are just fine. It's an upside play. If we lose that, I don't want to touch it short because 200 hours moving average is just sitting down there and also 20 days moving average is sitting just down there. So if it gets weaker, I will still wait and watch for the pullback to confirm if it's going to hold support in the price action and just play to the upside. And yeah, not wanting to look downside right now. All right, that's all for this video, guys. If you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. If you need access to my tools, links in the description below. And with that, I'll see you in my next videos. All right, bye.